coating was uh, rolled on using a 1 8 inch mat. And again, it was 13 months ago. It was put in the water immediately and is not being cleaned by a diver service there. since. Wait. You want me to just touch that? Yeah. If you want to see where the worm is right there, and you want to see how easy that is to come off, the worm is actually attached to the plastic part, which is not coated with uh, the M300. It is simply growing from that point, but not attached to the copper. Very easy to remove, I'm just using my finger. This is the pressure wash right now. See how easy the bio slime's coming off. This is gonna be a very, very short process. And then the boat will be put back into the water. Here we are on the vessel's port side. Again, just a simple pressure wash. All biofilm is being removed very, very easily. No hard growth to report on this vessel at all. One year in the waters of California. This is Channel Island, Oxnard, Southern California. Heavy fouling waters. Normal circumstances, this vessel will be absolutely coated in hard growth. There's been no diver service, as in cleaning, performed on this vessel since the day it was put in the water. This was just over 13 months ago. Very simple process. The owner of the vessel is not going to have to uh, recoat at all. This is simply just a pressure wash and placed back in the water. Very simple to do. Now as the boat is uh, drying off from the pressure wash, you can see how the bottom of the vessel is turning green. This is the copper going to a natural patina. As we just talked to the marina general manager, he said that this was a very, very fast and easy clean, much more so than it would be with a standard anti-fouling coating. Now we have the uh, vessel going back into the water. Happy sailing for another year plus.